Okay, we appreciate everybody coming out today. Uh, a few things we need to say, and first, uh, I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Jeff Guy, who is our team orthopedic. Uh, Dr. Guy trained uh, under Dr. Jim Andrews, uh, has that clinic uh, in Birmingham. Uh, Dr. Lyle Kane also, and uh, trained there. And Dr. Guy, Dr. Kane was part of the team uh, that performed Marcus's uh, surgery. And we thought it'd be important for Dr. Guy to explain a little bit about it and uh, prognosis and what's expected uh, in, in the future uh, for Marcus. So Dr. Jeff Guy will talk a little bit. Hi guys. Um, so, you know, I, I, typically we don't, as a medical staff, don't give a whole lot of medical information, as you know. But uh, Marcus and Marcus's family both asked as part of our meeting today to give you a little update on how he's doing but also a little bit more detail about his surgery and, and um, tell a little bit about what we did. So basically, as you know, Marcus was injured in the Tennessee game. And for the most part, you know, if you look at the mechanism of injury, as we said in our, our original statement, Marcus planted his foot and was hit directly in the front in the inside part of his knee and hyperextended it. And Marcus had a, a number of injuries to his knee uh, something we call multi-ligaments knee injury. So there are several aspects of that care that we, we follow as part of a, a normal regimen. Uh, Marcus, just to give you a little bit of clarification, so Marcus injured three of his four ligaments in his knee. And uh, to be a little bit more specific along the lines of all the things that can happen that we worry about, there, there were no fractures, so there were no broken bones during his injury. Um, number two, uh, one of the things that we always do in the hospital as part of our evaluation is whether or not somebody with a multi-ligamentous knee injury or a knee dislocation, whether they, the blood supply could be an issue because of the amount of force that happens through the knee. And uh, Marcus's blood vessels are totally normal, so he's never had a problem with that. Uh, probably the biggest thing that, that can happen with, that can affect your future with a knee dislocation is uh, your nerves and that the nerve that surrounds around the knee, one of those nerves that we always worry about can actually affect your future and give you a permanent paralysis in your lower leg. And again, that's one of the first things we looked at for Marcus and he never had a problem with that at all. So those are the three you know, big ones that you first, during his first evaluation in the first few days, as he never had any problems with those things, worked on his swelling, uh, so Marcus uh, you know, went to the operating room about a week after uh, his, his incident. And in an operating room, again, he tore three ligaments of his four. Now, this is the big thing I want you to understand, because I think it makes a big difference in terms of prognosis for an athlete. There's two things can happen when you're talking about ligaments. You can have a ligament that tears in half, and you can have a ligament that actually pulls off the bone. And now, when we looked at Marcus and, and repaired Marcus's knee, the really good thing about our repair and fixing his knee is that Marcus only had to have one ligament out of his knee completely reconstructed, and that was his ACL. Uh, and this is exactly what we did on his other knee. And we took a, a piece of tissue, a patella tendon from one part of his body, and put it in and reconstructed that. So the rest of his, uh, his ligaments were either reattached or supplement it and reattach to. So that's actually a great thing. And probably the biggest, one of the biggest things we worry about as orthopedic surgeons is your cartilage. And not only your meniscus, the cartilage cushions in your knee, but also the cartilage that coats your knee. Uh, that type of cartilage also can have a very big long-term effect. And the big thing for Marcus is he had zero problems with his cartilage. He had no cartilage injury at all. So. You know, uh, in terms of where Marcus has been since then, his surgery went great. Uh, we were all happy with it at the end of the surgery. He's done absolutely perfect coming down through the, the, uh, the last uh, four to five weeks. He's closing in on six weeks and, and uh, has started walking. Uh, we, we spent more time trying to hold him back probably. Uh, but I examined his, his knee, I gave him a full exam last week, and his knee feels great. All his ligaments are doing perfect and he's perfectly on course for where he's supposed to be right now. So uh, yeah, at this point in time, again, 
there's no plans whatsoever for Marcus having uh, another surgery at this time. So we're not planning one. His knee's doing perfectly fine. And so again, at this point in time, we're looking forward to him progressing <laughs> to that point where he can play again and play football healthy. Okay, thank you, Doctor.